Optimus. The next humanoid robot from Tesla, called Optimus Gen 2, is expected to be able to replace people in routine jobs. Elon Musk, the CEO, first suggested something rather basic, a dancer dressed, for artistic purposes, like a robot. The fact that the prior year's Tesla iDay exhibit was not very spectacular did not help. Tesla seemed to have anything more advanced than a very basic prototype at the time. It had difficulty moving and waving to everyone else. Tesla thought it was feasible because of its experience with electric motors and batteries, as well as the AI work it was doing for its self-driving car program. It said that their automobiles are already mobile robots. To be able to replace people in certain activities, it merely needs to develop them in humanoid shapes. Tesla unveiled an abundance of other prototypes at the time, many of which seemed to be more sophisticated and have begun performing very helpful functions. Optimus is reportedly receiving end-to-end -end neural net training from Tesla and is prepared to take on additional tasks like autonomous item sorting. The automaker presented the most recent iteration of the humanoid robot prototype, known as the Optimus Gen 2. Actuators and sensors on this version of the robot are exclusively made by Tesla. Overall, it seems to be much more difficult. The humanoid robot, or Optimus Gen 2, which is capable of far more than merely walking and speaking. The enhanced robot can now walk quicker in addition to having greater freedom to move its hands and sense touches on its fingers. According to Tesla, the gadget is run on a specially designed computer chip that has the processing capability required for demanding jobs. It functions similarly to a smartphone, keeping up a Wi-Fi and LTE connection to enable remote updates and control. Its activities are secure because of its integrated cybersecurity measures and audio capabilities, which ensure clear communication. With its 2.3 kWh battery, this gadget is much more efficient than conventional robots. This suggests a longer operating life and less frequent recharging. Neuralink Neuralink, which is developing a brain chip interface that can be implanted within the skull. The company, which Musk and a team of engineers launched in 2016, makes bold claims that its technology would eventually allow damaged people to regain their voice, movement, and vision. The Neuralink device's chip interprets and sends brain impulses to other gadgets, like a phone or computer. The business envisions a day when a person would be able to operate a keyboard, mouse, and other computer tasks like texting with only their thoughts. Neuralink further thinks that their technique can one day allow people with spinal cord injuries to use their limbs by re-establishing neuronal activity in the body. With locations in Austin and San Francisco, the firm also treats neurological diseases including dementia and Alzheimer's. The CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, claims that Neuralink is attempting to get from the patient as many button presses as it can from thinking. One way to achieve this, he advised, is to move boxes across a screen using the mouse. After being granted permission by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to conduct its first human clinical study, Neuralink started taking trial participants into the fall. After receiving FDA approval for human clinical trials, Neuralink started treating patients with paralysis brought on by cervical spinal cord damage or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Neuralink announced in September that the trial is a part of its prime study or precise, robotically implanted brain-computer interface, which looks into the safety of the surgical robot and implant, as well as the device's functionality. Neuralink is currently accepting participants for the trial. Starship Elon Musk is working on a vehicle that might revolutionize space travel. The so-called Starship is a totally reusable spacecraft that can go to the Red Planet and hold up to 100 passengers. The goal of creating SpaceX was to enable multi-planetary life. He contends that human settlement on other planets, including Mars, may rescue civilization in the event that a massive asteroid crashes Earth. Acquiring an automobile capable of doing the duty is necessary to achieve this aim. More than 100 passengers might be transported to the Red Planet simultaneously using the Starship, a rocket and spaceship combo. The system may be quickly and completely reused, being entirely reusable means that, unlike some other launch systems, the main hardware components are not thrown into the water or allowed to burn up, but rather are brought back to the surface to be used in subsequent launches. Because of its rapid reusable architecture, Starship can be swiftly refueled and launched again after returning from space. Much like an airplane, 
Consequently, this lowers the overall expenses of the company, NASA's Artemis project, which intends to create a permanent human presence on the moon, will also depend heavily on Starship. The flaps and heat shield required for a return trip to Earth would be absent from the version used for Artemis missions. Rather, following its first launch from Earth, the Starship Human Landing System would stay in orbit in order to ultimately be used for several excursions between lunar orbit and the Moon's surface. The cargo, or unmanned, version of Starship opens up like a crocodile's jaws when its payload compartment is revealed. This would enable it to be used for satellite launches. According to SpaceX, the enormous cargo capacity creates new opportunities for robotic research projects, including as telescopes bigger than the James Webb Observatory. The U.S. Space Agency gave SpaceX a $2.89 billion contract in April 2021 to transform Starship into a lander that can carry humans to the moon by the end of this decade. Cybertruck The Tesla Cybertruck is one of the most recognizable cars in automotive history. Yet it's not even for sale yet. This validates the Cybertruck's near-mythological reputation, thus the excitement is well-founded. When this electric automobile was initially released, it was even more wonderful than it is now, even with its great features and specifications. Still, the Cybertruck's incredible technology is going to amaze you. Musk emphasized the special qualities of the Tesla Cybertruck, such as its four-door, six-foot bed that fits into a 20-foot garage. This technology might change people's ideas about how big and useful trucks can be, as it continues Tesla's tradition of pushing the envelope. Tesla highlighted the electric truck's remarkable speed and range, blaming it on its low center of gravity, which provides drivers with better torque and traction control. The vehicle has an amazing 500-mile range and can accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Elon Musk showcased the Cybertruck's unique layout and dimensions, which allowed it to slot four doors into a 20-foot garage and over a six-foot bed. Interior design takes precedence over exterior design in Musk's design ethos. The following type with a single motor can only draw up to 7,500 pounds, but the Cybertrucks with two and three motors can pull up to 11,000 pounds. Each Cybertruck has a composite cargo bed measuring six by four feet that can accommodate up to 2,500 pounds. A large 18.5-inch touchscreen that is positioned horizontally in the dashboard center is standard on every Cybertruck. On the back of the center console is an additional 9.4-inch touchscreen for passengers in the backseat. Even though the infotainment and connectivity features are not yet known, it is anticipated that they will resemble those in Tesla's previous models. Tesla Robot Attack on Factory Engineer The incident and issue occurred in 2021 when an engineer from Jiba, Texas, started working on three robots by mistake. Sadly, only two of the robots came to a halt. The third one kept running, putting everyone in risk. The engineer was hurt by the robot's claws, which pressed him up against something and bled all over his arm and back. The engineer fell down a scrap metal passage, but with quick thinking and the help of a co-worker who pressed an emergency stop button, he managed to get out of the robot's hands 